Today we're taking a first look at Specialized new S-Works Roubaix. Now this bike comes three years after the last Roubaix, which was the first bike to feature their revolutionary Future Shock. Their Future Shock has been reworked for this bike, but it's interesting to just to think why they went down the route of putting effectively suspension on a road bike. The idea behind it, because this was a bike built for the cobbles, built for rough surfaces, is that they wanted to isolate the rider from the forces that are acting on the axles. So it, don't think of it like a traditional mountain bike where you're suspending bike and rider. This is all about just suspending the rider itself. That means they can still concentrate on making a really lightweight chassis, super stiff, great power transfer, but it's all designed to all do that while still keeping you comfortable and keeping handling sharp. Now, three years isn't a long time um, for a bike that took so much development as the last Roubaix to stay in production, um, but there, is, there are some really interesting reasons for this. There's been a sort of shift in the market. We all know that gravel has become much more of a thing. And when Specialized launched their new Diverge Carbon, they brought the Future Shock from the Roubaix across to it. Now, it proved that the Diverge was such a great bike that they found it was just pulling sales away from the Roubaix, which has always been Specialized kind of classic endurance machine. But they saw that as an opportunity to take the Roubaix right back to its racing roots. And it's worth remembering that the Roubaix is one of the winningest bikes to ever go into the Cobble Classic. So when you take a look at the bike, you can obviously see there's a lot of differences gone on here. The bike's got much more aggressive, there's lots more aero considerations gone into the frame design. And we'll just drill down and, and just see a few of those details. If we take the front end, it now stares exactly the same geometry as the tarmac. So that's in both stack and reach on the S-Works bikes across all sizes. So this is now a proper racing bike. So this is still going to be a great bike for endurance riders because you're still going to have that level of comfort that made the, the last Roubaix so famous. But this bike has been developed over the last few years with their pro teams in mind and with pro rider input. So yes, we've still got Future Shock here, but now it's tunable and it's got hydraulic damping uh, for the first time ever. Um, by tunable, we've, we've replaced the top cap with this dial, so in use, you know, you can completely open it up for the completely rough sections, but when you're getting into that sprint and you don't want any movement at the front end, you can almost completely lock it out. That's a really, really smart touch, and this is proven technology. This was actually raced in the, in the Classics last year um, under no fanfare on development bikes. So then when we're moving to the back end, it shares a lot of the design solutions that they came up with on the last Roubaix. Um, but you will notice that the CGR post with its weird kind of parallelogram with the elastomer infused bit has gone. It's been replaced with this new Parve post, which is D-shaped, like you'll see on the Venge, like you'll see on the Tarmac. 80 grams lighter, it shares much the same compliance abilities as the CGR. And then when it comes to the seat clamp, much like the old Roubaix, they've set it much further down into the frame. It's actually 65 mil below the top of the top tube. Um, again, that's just to give you that little bit more extension, that little bit more fore and aft movement. So what they've managed to do here is retain much of the character that made the last Roubaix a bike radar bike of the year, but they've infused it with much, much more of a racer's mindset. So what do we mean when we, we say we've brought it back into much more of a racer's mindset? Well, this bike has actually spent a lot of time in a wind tunnel. Strange thing to say about a Roubaix, but um, when you take this bike, it's actually just as quick as the Tarmac SL6 in the wind tunnel. It's actually as quick as the original Venge. You know, they've done lots and lots of work on this. Over the previous generation of Roubaix on um, specialized own quoted figures, which is usually over 40 kilometers, they say this bike is gonna be 14 seconds faster. They've also done lots and lots of work on keeping the weight down. So the, this new frame set is sub 900 grams, which is, makes it completely competitive. So this bike here that we've got in to do a lot more testing on, a lot more riding on, is actually quite a life size. This is a 58 centimeter and complete with Garmin mounted and a set of 105 Shimano pedals. This tips the scales at just bang on eight kilos. Out of the box in this SRAM ETAP spec, it comes with their own Cotton Hill of the North tires in a 26, but they've given you much, much bigger tire clearances on this bike than we've seen before. So you can, on this, you can get a tire up to a 33C in that. And it will just make it a much more all, all year round usable, um, pro level, comfortable race machine. We think it's got a lot of potential.
As for range, um, there is going to be a huge range of, of the new Roubaix. On S-Works and Expert bikes, you're going to get this new Future Shock 2.0. Um, on bikes at comp level and below, it shifts to a unit they're calling the Future Shock 1.5, which retains the damping, but it is non-adjustable. And quite interesting for, uh, for our female viewers out there is that the previous Ruby has now disappeared. Um, all the women's, women's bikes are going to be rolled into the one platform, the one Roubaix, so you will get that pro spec, that, you know, that pro ride which also means they've introduced a huge range of sizes for a production bike. The new Roubaix goes from a tiny 44 right up to a 64. You know, so that's, that's the smallest riders out there to the toilest riders out there. You'll probably all be able to fit on the new Roubaix. Also worth noting now that every bike in the Roubaix range is going to be hydraulic disc, so there's no, no budget cable disc option, and of course there's no rim brakes at all throughout the range. Because this is a bike aimed at the classics, so it's aimed at that early season stuff, so it's you know, deep, deep winter, wet weather, um, harsh riding conditions that all the BBs are threaded, so there's no press fit here, so should rem remain creek free. So the new Future Shark 2.0 works in conjunction with what Specialized are calling the Future Stem. It's a typical specialised nomenclature there. And instead of the top cab, we've got this adjusting dial. This is just a dial much like you'll find on the top of any mountain bike fork leg. So you can go from having this full locked out for when the roads are nice and smooth, swing it completely the other way, 20 mil of damp travel there. It's a smart thing, works really well out on a road. You will find yourself using it and it looks like this is going to be a true all round race machine. So there you go, that's the first look at the brand new Specialized S-Works Roubaix. Now we're going to be taking this bike away, riding it plenty. We're heading out to Belgium next week where we're going to actually take it onto the Paris-Roubaix cobbles, see how it fares, and then we'll report back with a full test on Bike Radar soon. So what do you think about Specialized taking the Roubaix right back to its racing routes? Are you a long-term Roubaix fan of the endurance platform? Do you feel you're being now being left out? You can let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.